What is good, Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down some very important factors involving Tesla and what's going on with Kathy Wood's claims about the company. I'm also going to break down why she believes Tesla is going to go up to $2,000 per share by 2027 in just a couple of years, despite where we are. And before I break the devil's information, before I give you guys what needs to be done, what factors will affect Tesla moving forward, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks and the offer ends very soon in just a couple of weeks. Anyways, as you guys could tell, Tesla's been dumping quite a bit for the past 11 months. If we go back to July of 2023, Tesla managed to rally all the way up to $300 per share. Now, know that remember when Elon Musk was selling his shares and Tesla went all the way down to about you know 100 per share? Earlier during the year, Tesla saw a big rally up to 200 within a few within a month. Then it came all the way down to about 153 a share, and from it went from 153 all the way up to about 300 within a few months. So the point in me saying that is that when Tesla runs, it runs. It could run like crazy when you least expect it. So don't forget about that. How fast shorts get squeezed, and the fact that Tesla has a lot of unfilled gaps, which it's going to fill in the future. Now. What about this gap down here? We do have this gap right here. Uh, there's no guarantee that this will be filled. If something bad happens and it does get filled, hey, it's okay. It's another buying opportunity. If it doesn't get filled and this inverse hand shoulders su suggests that Tesla's going to start running, that's going to be very bullish and it's going to be very exciting to see. So we've been on this big downtrend, making lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. It's been dipping for quite some time. But as of recent, Tesla has been forming and forging a very, very strong inverse head and shoulders that suggests that upside is still very, very prominent. So there is a good chance we could get that upside move after the shareholder meeting or is approaching it. So we'll see if that ends up being the case. But with that being said, I don't want to focus too much on just what we're seeing on the daily chart. One could argue that Tesla is very undervalued. If you look at its price relative to revenue, it's very low now, about in the sixes when it used to be in the tens before. So you guys could kind of see how it really shifts. And that's going to be very, very pivotal for how we end up moving. Kathy Wood has been saying that Tesla has the potential to go up to $2,000 per share by 2027. She still says that even this year she was saying that. So I wanted to give you guys like her argument about why that is, what is very important for this. So uh, basically, ARK was saying this, this article did come out last year, but I want to still talk about this because it's very re relevant. And in addition to being very, very relevant, I just wanted to say that uh, you know, Kathy Wood still believes this. She did mention this very, very recently. So I, I'm going to just continue to go over the argument and these numbers. The expected value for Tesla in 2027 is 2000 per share. Uh, at the very least, 1400 And at the most, 2500 is what they've calculated. Uh, most likely, 2000 per share. I'm going to break down exactly why that is. So one thing worth noting is that uh, the expected value is at least 2000 The bearish value is going to be 1400 and the bullish value is 2500 based off different factors. When looking at it, Tesla's business is going to be comprised of two main revenue streams for the next few years. Kathy Wood has argued that it's not energy storage. It's not human-driven ride hails. It's actually more towards the robo-taxi and EV sales. So that's going to be a very, very big catalyst for them. And she has argued that that's going to be a massive and massive, massive for them, depending on how things go. So the robo taxi could be huge, could be, uh, you know, it's going to likely make up a big chunk of Tesla's revenue in the next few years, according to Kathy Wood. And I think that that's going to be very, very huge for them moving forward. And here's exactly why. So when you look at how many cars they've been selling, it's like getting close to that, like 2 million mark, if anything. Uh, Tesla's getting closer and closer to that, uh, at least per year. And moving forward, uh, can we get to 10 million by 2027? That is also very po possible because they're continuing to expand the capabilities of the German Gigafactory, the US uh, Gigafactories, the new Gigafactories will open very, very soon. So that, <laughs> excuse me, that makes me very, very excited. Uh, as predicted, the more bearish outcome would be we only sell about 10 million ca cars by 2027, considering the exponential growth that Tesla can maintain. And the more bullish outcome would be we sell about 20 million of these EVs for 2027. Now, even if we come a little short of that, revenue shouldn't be too far. Uh, from just EV sales alone, okay, just the cars, the bearish case shows about $346 billion in revenue if they're sold for an average of about $34,000. And if they're actually sold for about $26,000, if the price continues to drop, we could be seeing them future revenue of about $528 billion. So that's pretty crazy looking at these different factors. 
either way, there's a big difference between them. But even, even if we just go with the smaller numbers right here, if we just go with these numbers right here in the middle, that is still very, very insane growth for Tesla. Now, what else is going to be big would be the possibility of AI and the robo taxi. So that's going to make up about 20, 200 billion in revenue if we end up approaching the big date of 2027 if we end up getting you know setting a lot of goals and they end up being met once it's officially launched and then for 2027 with the robo taxi coming out if we get the bullish case it'll be close to 600 billion dollars in revenue which was calculated depending on the margins uh you know the gross margins are expected to be a little bit different we'll see what they look like uh it, it also depends on the gross margins without the credits so we'll have to see on that these are still yet to be calculated but that's going to be very huge she calculated over $4 billion in market cap just by 2027 alone. Once the robo taxi comes out, as, as it's going to be a massive catalyst for them. And on top of this, uh, if it comes out and we actually do even better in revenue with bigger sales, we could get up to $8 trillion in market cap. Now, that may sound like crazy, but when you look at how stocks like NVIDIA could run, I don't see how Tesla cannot do that, considering how much it has run in the past and what it's capable of doing. Now, when it comes to other things that's worth noting, they went over different models that kind of gives, gives us input ranges for the different factors that affect us. And looking at the robotaxi seems like it's one of the most important factors. You can see right over here, there's been a, a different uh, simulations indicating the first year of Tesla's robotaxi commercial, commercialization. Now this is going to continue to grow. It's going to be pretty insane. So we're waiting to see what's going to happen once we get our announcements. Elon Musk mentioned that on August 8th, it's going to reveal its robotaxi, which is going to be very, very insane. Musk also mentioned that uh, with the technology that's coming out, uh, they, they can now drive Tesla's about five to 10 times more miles without any interferences relative to before. And then as time goes on, they're getting closer to achieving uh, one interference per over a period of a year of driving uh, based off the average amount of time people drive. They're getting very, very close to insane amount of Developments and FSD is becoming more and more strong. So Kathy Wood is very, very confident that FSD is going to be huge. One thing I do want to say about Kathy Wood's model, though, is that there's going to be a lot of regulations and policies to get through. So it could actually delay things a bit. So I don't think this really accounts for that as well, presuming that every single one of these values come out. But it is still a possibility that the you know more bearish cases that she is playing out are still possible because there's going to be other catalysts as well, like the RoboTaxi, the Optimus Robot, a bunch of different things to be priced in. Now, another big thing is that the EV sales market is continuing to grow, and we will see if Tesla can maintain its overall share in the market as we're starting to see it grow. The Teslas dominate the USA. They're very, very popular here in the US. They have been made up a big percentage of the share, and they're continuing to do so. Even in China, they're pretty popular. Uh, in Europe, relatively popular, but not as insane. Uh, but I want to make it very clear that that's something that's very clear and important. Norway is also the leader in the EV growth, at least right now, relative to the percentage of EV sales. So going back to Tesla, there is definitely upside potential for short term and long term. Like I said before, we could still see periods of insane growth when hundreds of billions of dollars get pumped in, but that's just based off sales and other factors. Imagine when we get hype about AI. AI is going to be absolutely insane. And I think that we're entering an era where trillion is becoming the next billion. People used to talk about how billions was so much money to be pumped into stocks when, you know, money printed. Now the word is trillion, and that's how crazy stocks are essentially moving. So going back to Kathy Wood's models, I do agree with that. Uh, looking at the adjusted million miles per crash, you guys can see how Tesla and FSD is once again uh, doing relatively well. And you guys can see how much you could drive on uh, the surface streets uh, with, with Tesla using FSD relative to the national average, it does tend to be safer based off how many crashes there are and how few there are relative to the national average. So that makes it a lot safer. When we look at their efficiency in incremental amounts, you can see how this is becoming a lot more useful. Uh, that's making things a lot more effective. And then moving forward, uh, you guys can see this is actually important for energy storage relative to e vehicle sales still continuing to grow. And then energy storage is going to continue to increase as well. It's another very, very important business for Tesla. So looking at this uh, for the expected value, she kind of drew this out right over here for the price per share. We could get a bearish target of about 1400 just based off RoboTaxi and their sales alone. And then there's other factors like Optimus Robots, other AI developments, FSD. And, I mean, there's just so many other developments. You can't forget about their new models coming out and sales. So with all these different developments, that's going to be pretty awesome to see. 
And the bearish case is still about 1400, but the bullish case is 2500. Still, guys, it's still absolute insane growth. That is what is being projected. We have more models over here as well based off these. So with that being said, what do I think about Kathy Wood's prediction of 2000 per share by 2027? She, once again, guys, she did mention this very recently. This is not just like, you know, an old article. This is also a lot that she said very recently. So I personally think that uh, it is very possible, but this depends on a bunch of different factors. The first thing is they haven't really announced or released RoboTaxi yet. We're still waiting to see what that's going to happen with that. So assuming it does come out very soon, and assuming that they get through a lot of regulations and you know it's in play as soon as like next year, that <laughs> excuse me, that could be a very, very big revenue driver for Tesla. And that could make things a lot more possible. Uh, you also have to consider the fact that Tesla and in, in the stock market, the market loves to just price things in early on. So there's a very good chance that that could lead to a big amount of growth. So I personally think that the bearish target of 1400 is actually very possible for 2027. And I think it's actually very realistic. We could see a crazy amount of growth like that in the, the next couple of years, but that's going to fall in, under the presumption that Tesla gets through a lot of these regulations. Tesla is able to enable things properly, achieve, you know, you know, FSD in the ways that it wants to. And then finally get the robo taxi out, which we're still waiting for. So we have to assume all that happens in order for that to happen. If we get all these out by the expected dates, I think that yes, Tesla could get close to 2000 a share by 2027. And if we get revenue as anticipated, if not, if, if this is delayed even more and more and more, I think reaching $2,000 per share may get closer to the end of the decade. Could take a little bit longer, uh, maybe like closer to like 2029, 2030, like that. That's going to make a lot more sense to me. But either way, guys, I do expect major, major upside for Tesla. Uh, we're basically anticipating that's going to easily, you know, 10x within the next three to five years. And I, I really believe that it's going to easily do that. So crazy money will be made off of it, especially buying dips like this. And that's the reason why I've been advocating for that. Not saying I'm giving financial advice. I'm just saying that it's like an opportunity. So that's that's the way I see Tesla. So is Kathy Wood right? We can't say that. No one truly knows what's going to happen. But when... It, Analysts see predictions like this. If people keep saying, Kathy was saying this, 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 people keep buying and buying and buying, then her predictions could become right because it's kind of like a hindsight bias where, you know, people are already seeing the target. They think it's going to go there. They keep buying until we get there. That's just one example of how this is going to end up playing out as well. So what do I think is going to happen? I think Tesla is very bullish with the RoboTax potentially coming out very soon. I just don't know the exact date and uh, a bunch of different things. I have to wait for the announcement on August 8th. And a lot of excitement approaching some very, very big events make me very, very excited, of course. But I just want to make it very clear that I'm not 100% certain about when a lot of these big dates will be unveiled. I don't know exactly you know, how the RoboTax is going to go, how long it's going to take for them to start building a lot of revenue off of it. We haven't even started that yet, so we have to give it some time. And what else is going to happen with their EV sales? So I do presume that there's a good chance Tesla could get uh, you know, close to the amount of EV sales projected, but I'm not as confident about all the other factors coming into fruition. So I think that the bearish case at the very least does seem very possible. Uh, 1400 per share, 2000 per share is also possible. It's, I mean, it's, in my opinion, it's less probable, but it's still, it's still a possibility, but it depends on all these different factors. That's the thing. If Kathy Wood is, you know, correct about all these different things coming out and the robo tax giving us the revenue that we're projecting, if it happens as soon as she says, then yes, we, you know, she could be correct. You know, that we could see a monster short squeeze on Tesla and it has the potential to become the most valuable company on the planet. If she's wrong and it takes longer, then we may not reach this target until closer to the end of the decade. But either way, I do presume that as we get closer to the end of the decade, Tesla will reach that target. I don't know if it's going to be 2027 or not, but realistically, I do believe it's very possible Tesla will reach this uh, as long as things go according to plan. And that could be a little bit difficult to predict, but I do believe it's very probable. So what do I think about Tesla? Here's the bottom line, guys, okay? This is the bottom line. I personally don't care if it takes, you know, to, until 2027 to get to 2000 per share or if it takes until 2030 at the end of the day i'm going to hold my shares i'm going to continue to buy and, and hold and continue to buy you know leaps and stuff i'm continuing to do that i don't really mind how long it takes whether it takes you know three years or six years it's bullish nonetheless it's bullish the return on investment is absolutely insane you're more than 10xing your money within three to five years right that's a crazy return on investment if it gets to those targets do I think Tesla will do it? Yeah, I believe in them. I know what Tesla could do, and I know what Elon Musk is capable of. I think that AI is going to be huge, and Tesla has so much revenue uh, potential. 
So I consider this bullish news and I can't wait to see what the future holds. All right. So to me personally, I don't care if it if Tesla reaches 2000 a share by 2027 or by 2030. I don't care if it takes an extra few years. At the end of the day, it's very, very bullish. And I see the opportunity in front of us right now. And that's the most important thing. You have to remember what the opportunities are. And you have to look at how this is going to be very, very important. Okay. So with that being said, I just want to say I really appreciate you guys so much for listening. Uh, hopefully this video was very, very insightful about what I see going forward. And I personally believe that the robo taxi is going to be absolutely massive. Can't wait to see when it comes out. I think it's going to be a big revenue builder for Tesla and it's going to cause immense growth. So AI is key for Tesla. Tesla is not just developing FST for fun. It's going to have so many uses. It's going to be a multi-trillion dollar business and it's going to help bring in hundreds of more billions in revenue per year, in my personal opinion. So I do agree with Kathy Wood on that. We'll see if we reach 2000 per share by 2027 or by 2030. It doesn't matter to me. At the end of the day, it's still very bullish and it's just going to take uh, you know, a few years, three to five years is nothing. Time flies so quickly. So I can't wait, guys. I'm so excited. All right. So when you see charts like this, look at opportunity. 170 share, pretty good for the long term. If it dips lower, another buying opportunity. I'm happy. I'm grateful. And I'm excited for what the future holds nonetheless. All right. So for all the people out there saying Tesla's going to crash to $80 a share, first off, if it crashes to that, I'll buy the dip, not financial advice, but that's what I would do. Secondly, why would Tesla crash so hard right now when a lot of what happened has been priced in with all the you know EV sales declines and such? From this point on, the Fed is going to soon lower rates. Uh, from this point on, you know Tesla is going to see a lot of growth and much of the downside has been priced in. It's already been downtrending for a long time. And it is due, long overdue for Tesla to get a balance, in my opinion. I think we're going to see a very, very nice one very soon. All right. So that's what I see for Tesla. Uh, thank you all for listening. I'll see you guys very soon on the next one tomorrow and peace out.